This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Speed Dance. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second. And my duration is 20 seconds longer. You are free to use your own settings. Now, the first step is to import your files into your project. Now place the audio file onto the timeline, and then press L double times, to open waveforms. Ramp preview this, to hear the song. Cool. This sounds better. Now select the video layer, and place it on top of all layers. Ramp preview it, and this is how it looks. By the way, you can use any video you want. As you can see, my video is in slow motion. But I need to make it slower. Let's do it. Simply right click on your video layer, then go to the time, and choose time stretch. A new window will appear right here. In this window, simply change the stretch factor to 150%. Of course you are free to use any value you want. But make sure to use the value above 150%. Play it once again, and now you will see the video is slower, but it is not smooth as before. This is because the frame is missing between two frames. But we can fix it very easily. Just right click on your video layer, then go to the frame blending, and here we have two options. Frame mix, and pixel motion. Frame mix simply generates a new frame between two frames. I found that, it affects the smoothness of the frames, that don't look as sharp as it should. The pixels motion helps in creating the smooth motion between those frames, but it will also create some artifacts. You should try both of them, and see which looks better for your video clip. But for this tutorial, I'm going with the pixel motions. Because it gives me a smooth motion. Let's play it once again, and see if you like it. Cool. This looks good to me. Let's move to the next step. Now I am going to make the effect. Press and hold the control or command key on your keyboard, and scrub through the timeline, to hear the music while scrubbing. Go to the point, where the first beat is happening. In my case, it is right here. Make sure to select your video layer, then press the Ctrl, or Command Shift D, to split your layer into two layers. Then go to the next beat. Because this section is going to be in speed, so I am keeping it longer, than the previous clip. Find the point, and split this layer as well. Now I am going to increase the speed of this video clip. So right click on it, go to the time, and choose to enable time remapping. I am using the time remapping, because it gives me more options than time stretch. After selecting time remapping, you can see I have two keyframes on this layer. First one is at the beginning, and the second keyframe at the end. These keyframes hold the duration of this video clip. So the first keyframe represents the beginning of the video, and the second keyframe represents the end of the video. If you bring this keyframe closer, you can simply increase the speed of the video. If you bring these keyframes away from each other, it will make the video slower. Let's see how can we increase the speed of this section. Simply go to the beginning of this clip, you can use the shift key, while scrubbing through the timeline, and the playhead will snap to the edge of the clip. Then click here to add a keyframe on it. Now go to the end position of this video clip. And again click here to add a keyframe. Now, all we need to do is simply grab this end keyframe, and bring it closer to the second keyframe. 
it will increase the speed of this clip. Ram preview this, and this is how it looks now. Let's make it a little bit faster, by placing this keyframe right here. As you can see, the video keeps playing after this keyframe, and we don't need that. So simply grab this top layer, and place it on top of this keyframe. Because it is overlapping, so the bottom layer won't appear. Cool. And this is what we needed. Now select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor, and in case your graph does not look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Now zoom into your timeline, by pressing the equal key on your keyboard, and then change the curve to something like this. Ram preview this, and see if you like it. Now we need to adjust the timing of this. The beat should happen right between these keyframes. So in that case, drag the video layer to the left, and make the beat waveform appear, right between these keyframes. Adjust the top layer position as well. Let's make the second beat speed. Again press Ctrl, or Command key, and scrub through the timeline. Then find the next beat, where we are going to split this layer. I think this point looks better, so I am going to split the layer at this section. Let's find the next beat, and remember, it should be longer than the previous one. So that we can make it faster. I think the beat I am looking for is here. So split this layer. Then again right click on it, go to the time, and choose time remapping. It will automatically add keyframes on the clip time remapping. Make sure you are at the edge of this video clip, then click here to add a keyframe. Then go to the beginning of this video clip, and add one more keyframe by clicking here. Now grab this end keyframe, and place it towards the first keyframe of this layer. It will increase the time of this video clip. Again select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline. Now grab the top layer, and place the starting position of it on the second keyframe. Play it, and this is how it looks now. Not bad. Let's quickly complete the whole video. I am fast forwarding this step, because all you need to do is follow the same steps for the entire clip. Just a quick update. I am following the lockdown, this is why I was not able to upload new videos last week. My studio is away from my home. I am moving the computer to my home, that's why I was able to make this video. You should stay inside, because this is the best thing you can contribute to your society. Change the work area, by pressing N on your keyboard. And RAM preview it once again. This looks good, but we need to adjust the keyframes timing, so that it will appear right on the beat. You can simply drag the layers to the left or right, to adjust the duration. Cool. This looks better now. Let's add a small scale animation to it. First minimize all layers, to get some room. And then create a new null object, and place it on top of all layers. I am calling it scale. Then select all video layers, and parent it with the scale. If your parent tab is not available here, simply press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is following the lockdown, then right click here, go to the columns, and choose parent and link, as well as switches. Now simply grab this pick whip, and drop it onto the scale. 
All the video layers now can be controlled through this scale layer. We will apply this scale effect only to the speed part. So make sure to press U to reveal all keyframes. Now go to the beginning of this first keyframe and then select the scale layer and open its scale property, then add a keyframe on it. Now we need to go to the position of the second keyframe, but because we have multiple layers, so it is hard to see all layers at once. So press the wave key to toggle the full screen view. Now go to the second keyframe position and click here to add a keyframe. Then go to the between of these keyframes and then change the scale value to 125%. Press the wave key once again to eject from the full screen. Now select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Cool. You can adjust the keyframe position to place them at the same distance. Let's add motion blur on it. Select all layers and click here to add the motion blur. Play it once and see if you like it. I think the scale looks bigger. So let's change the value of it. I'm keeping the scale value of 110%. Cool. Now select all keyframes, then press Ctrl or Command plus C to copy them. Switch to the full screen by pressing the wave key on your keyboard, then go to the next keyframe position and paste the keyframes right here. Make sure to paste these keyframes on all the time remapping keyframe position. And now the scale will appear on the beats. I am going to drag this scale layer to the left a little, so that it will scale at the right time. Cool. Now the last step. But first, make sure to eject from the full screen by pressing the wave key on your keyboard. Create a new adjustment layer. I am calling it light. Then go to the effects and the presets and search for the exposure. Apply it onto the layer and let's adjust a few settings. First, make sure you are at the first frame and then add a keyframe on the exposure. Then go to the third keyframe position and press U to open all keyframes. Here, add another keyframe on the exposure. Then go to the center position and change the exposure value to a higher number. Let's call it 1. Then select all the keyframes and easy ease them. Now copy these keyframes as well and paste them at the position of the scale keyframes. And now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, stay inside, wash your hands, and peace. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, and web templates. Visit the Invato Elements. Check the first link in the description.